This week's Missing Persons Cold Case is on Beverly Potts. Beverly Potts disappeared August 24th, 1951 from Cleveland, Ohio. But as always, let's rewind in time and see what was happening in 1951. Harry S. Truman was our 33rd president. One of the top movies in 1951 was An American in Paris starring Gene Kelly. The song Too Young by Matt King Cole was the number one song in 1951. They to tell us. And in Cleveland, Ohio, August 24th, 1951, Beverly Potts disappeared. She was 10 years old, 4'11", she weighed 90 pounds with blonde hair and blue eyes. On October 24th, 1951, around 8 p.m., Beverly left her home in the 11,300 block of Lynette Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. She and her friend rode their bicycles to attend the show wagon, which is an annual summer festival held in Holloran Park. Beverly had permission to stay until the show was over, but her friend had to be home by dark, so she left Beverly at 8.40 p.m., not realizing that would be the last time that she saw her friend Beverly. When Beverly didn't return home, her parents became worried. They started to search for her, but they could not find her, so they called the police. Police started interviewing friends and neighbors, and a 13-year-old acquaintance said he saw a girl he believed to be Beverly walking across the park. He said he saw her around 9.30 p.m., and she was about 150 feet from the corner of Lynette and West 117th Streets when she was last seen. This is the last confirmed sighting of Beverly Potts. Many searches took place by police, friends, and volunteers. However, no sign of Beverly was ever found. There have been many tips, leads, false leads, and suspects, but before we go over those, could you please make sure that you're subscribed, you like this video, and you give it a share? It really helps the channel out. Two months after Beverly's disappearance, a man called her family and demanded $25,000 for her return, but he turned out to be an opportunist who had nothing to do with the presumed abduction. One possible suspect was William Henry Redman. He was a carnival worker who died in 1992. He had a long record for being a child predator beginning when he was only 13 years old. He had been awaiting trial for the 1951 murder of an 8-year-old girl. Authorities questioned him about Beverly's case in 1988, but he refused to make any statement one way or the other about her disappearance. In 1994, a letter was discovered under the carpet of a house on Midvale Avenue on the west side of Cleveland. The letter was written in 1960 by a woman who claimed she had caught her husband disposing of Beverly's body in the furnace. Authorities tracked down the previous owner and the woman stated her husband had passed away, but that her letter was not true. She wrote it as a fantasy revenge against her husband because he abused her. In 2000, an unidentified individual wrote two letters to authorities. The writer stated that he was dying and confessed to Beverly's murder. The letter's author promised to turn himself in to the police on August 24, 2001, the 50th anniversary of Beverly's disappearance. But shortly before this date, he sent a third letter saying that he had to go to a nursing home and could not keep his promise to reveal his identity. They tried to find who this person was, but was never able to confirm his identity. Many investigators believe that this correspondence was genuine. In spite of many investigators investigating this case and many leads from the public, Investigators never found any trace of Beverly. Police believe she was abducted and perhaps murdered, probably by someone she knew and trusted, since she has such a shy nature and a fear of strangers. Beverly's mother passed away in 1956 and her father in 1970. Her older sister continued to search for her until her own death in 2006. Beverly's case remains unsolved and foul play is suspected in her disappearance. If anyone has any information about Beverly, please call the Cleveland Police Department at 216-621-1234.